The Winning Cures Everything College Football Playoff Predictions After Week 6. This is after the October 6th ball games. Let's jump right in. Uh, well, first off, this segment is brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. You can wager and watch on any games at any of their six sportsbook locations. So go check them out. Check out everything you need to over at tunicatravel.com. Let's jump right in. Playoff predictions. The two teams that I have being left out of the playoff. I believe Washington will win out. I believe Oklahoma will win out. And I believe neither of them will get into the college football playoff. I don't think their schedules will be strong enough. Uh, obviously, both already have a loss. Uh, not that that'll matter. I think other teams might end up with a loss as well. But uh, as far as my prognostication... I don't believe that these teams will. So let's jump in. Number four, I have Notre Dame. I think that they will go 12-0. and I think their schedule will be looked at as a little less than some of these other teams, even with the big wins that they already have. Michigan, I expect them to lose a couple of ball games. So that win won't, get, like, it won't mean as much. Uh, Stanford, I mean, they already went and, and got hammered by, uh, by Utah at home the week after the loss to Notre Dame. Notre Dame's going to have some other losses. Not Notre Dame. Excuse me. Notre Dame's opponents will have some other losses. Uh, they won't have any major win to hang their head on, right? So, Notre Dame, I've got it number four. I have them 12-0 and going into the playoff. Number three, I've got Georgia. I think even if Georgia were to lose the SEC championship game to Alabama, I think they will be 12-0 and in the regular season. Their only loss will be on a neutral site to the number one team in the country, I think they will belong in. And so 12-1, and one, I mean, they, they will look pretty good. No, their schedule will not be crazy, but a win over Florida, all that kind of stuff. Not to mention, if you put Georgia at number four, you'll have a rematch right off the bat. I don't think college football playoff wants that. Uh, let's jump in. Uh, number two, I've got Ohio State. Ohio State already has a fantastic body of work. Uh, they've got Michigan left to play. They've got Michigan State left to play. I fully expect them to beat both of those teams. And then it doesn't matter who comes in from the West. Iowa, Wisconsin. Wisconsin's got a tough slate ahead of them. Iowa, not so tough. Not so tough. So whichever one of those comes in, I think Ohio State handles them. They get in 13-0. and They will be the number two ranked team in the college football playoff going in. And that leaves our number one team with Alabama. This is exactly why I don't think that Notre Dame will be your three seed. I don't think the college football playoff wants Ohio State against Notre Dame and Alabama against Georgia right after they just had Alabama and Georgia in the SEC championship game. I think they want to delay that and, and hopefully not have the same matchup. So uh, from there, you'll have Ohio State against Georgia and Alabama against Notre Dame. That is two primetime made-for-TV games that will absolutely be watched. They will be sold. It will be other-world kind of stuff. And I think two really good really good football games. I think Ian Book and Notre Dame can test Alabama's defense. I think Notre Dame's defense can give Tua some problems. With Ohio State and Georgia, it's kind of the same thing, right? Dwayne Haskins at Ohio State. Uh, he could have some problems with Georgia's defense. I think Jake Fromm and Justin Fields and, and uh, Swift and, and all of those guys at Georgia could have problems with Ohio State's defense, uh, depending on what kind of scheme they are wanting to run at that time. Obviously, they have uh, given up some yardage this year, but they do have the personnel to be able to match up with Georgia. That could be some very, very interesting stuff. Uh, now, if you do that, if you do those two matchups, you could end up with Alabama and Georgia for a a rematch in the national championship game. You will have an SEC championship game in the last two national championship games that would include Alabama and Georgia. Who knows if that's what the committee actually wants, but if it is bringing in eyeballs, I mean, they will be all about it. They will be all about it. Obviously, you're you're looking for an Alabama-Ohio State matchup, but if they are both undefeated, there's no way you're getting that in the first round. Just no chance. All right, so recap on the... Uh, the teams that were left out, for me, Washington and Oklahoma, I think both of them will win out. I don't think their schedules will uh, will work for the committee. 
And then you've got Alabama at one, Ohio State at two, Georgia at three, Notre Dame at four. So Alabama versus Notre Dame, Ohio State versus Georgia. That will end our college football playoff predictions after week six.